What's up, Metalheads? My name is Andrew Hopper, and welcome back to Christian Metal News. You see, it's been a very long time since I've done Christian Metal News. I'm sure you guys have missed it, and I've kind of missed it. Um, you know, when I was doing the news, I was always up to date on things, and since I haven't, I've missed a lot. So, yeah. But today we're going to talk about Fit for a King. I'm sure you guys have heard of them. And, you know, the album that they're working on for this year. Um, I've seen a bunch of posts from their the lead vocalist, Ryan Kirby, talking about how, you know, their new album is going to be more metal and melodic. Like, when he says metal, he doesn't mean necessarily heavier, but more melodic and... I'm guessing more riffs and solos and stuff like that, possibly. But yeah, let's get into it. So he said the album is going to be more metal and more melodic than the past albums. One of the big things why I decided to talk about this is that um, Fifer King has recruited Daniel Gailey of Phineas, the guitarist of Phineas. He is the guitarist of Fifer King now as well. So that's crazy. That's kind of what I was wanting to talk about and what we can possibly look forward to on the new album, knowing that Daniel is doing the guitars for them. Daniel is an amazing guitarist, and you know, Phineas has a very signature, melodic, heavy sound that you know he has created for the band. I think having Daniel as a part of the new Fifth Root King album, we can really expect you know lots of melodic riffs, maybe like tapping stuff like that something that we really don't hear a lot from fit for a king and with their last album dark skies they definitely improved a lot and had some sick riffs and uh but yeah i think with daniel being the guitarist we can definitely expect lots of great melodic riffs and solos and you know sick lead lines and stuff like that part of me kind of thought it's just going to be like as if like it was basically like a clash between phineas and fit for a king basically like phineas with you know, the Fit for a King vocals. I believe it can, it still will be unique to Fit for a King's sound, you know, just with more, you know, lead and melodic stuff, which I think is going to be really sick and exciting to hear from them. You know, one thing with Fit for a King is, you know, with each album, they've always improved. At least to me, I think they've always, you know, they've always pushed to improve in some way. And with this album, I think it's going to be, you know, even taking another step up even from the last album, especially with Daniel as a guitarist. I think we're gonna be able to expect, you know, another sick album from them. I don't know when the album is releasing, and, you know, last I heard they were still working in the studio. I just thought I would talk about that. I think it's very exciting that they are, you know, pushing to make a, their, their music more metal. Um, in one of Ryan's posts, he said, it, you know, there's also going to be some heavy stuff, like some of their past songs that were really heavy, you know, just kind of that slamming heavy sound. So I think we could still expect that signature heavy Fit for a King sound, you know, blended with melodic metal. So that's kind of what I'm hoping for with the new Fit for a King album. Comment below what you you might be expecting. Um, are you excited for it? I think I'm pretty excited. I'm kind of hoping they drop a, a single or two here soon. With their last album, they released like five singles before the album dropped. I kind of gave the album away, but it was also cool to hear a lot. So I'm hoping to hear a single from them maybe in a couple months or something. That would be awesome. I just wanted to talk a little bit about Fit for King's future album. I don't think they've even announced the title yet. And that is all I have to talk about on this week's episode of Christian Metal News. Hopefully I can come up with enough content to uh, start doing Christian Metal News every week again. But uh, comment below what you think. If you guys have anything uh, that you think I should report on next week's episode of Christian Metal News, then let me know. You can message me on Facebook or Instagram. If you're thirsty for some more metal, you can check out my solo project, Fire From Heaven. You can go to firefromheavenmetal.com and check it out. I'm getting ready to drop an album on the 28th of this month. It's going to be sick. Don't miss it. Make sure you follow me on your preferred streaming platform or music store. I'll see you guys in the next video. Christian Metal Forever.